Good evening, everyone. I'm Carl Abelard Villegas. You can call me Carl for short. I currently teach at UPOU, handling the Massive Environment and Natural Resources Management program. As a forester by heart, a self-proclaimed conservationist, a practicing environmentalist, and now an aspiring sustainability specialist. This is an exciting journey for me, just as is for all of us. It's inspiring, isn't it? We're all here because we want to make a difference. Right now, I'm standing in the middle of a small garden, surrounded by the plants and trees that we have nurtured for long. This is a blend of nature, both natural and man-made. And to me, this is beautiful and sustainable. I've always been a tree and plant lover. When I was a kid, I remember being about seven years old, growing up in Manila, and seeing an ornamental bamboo in a pot right in our garden. This is one of the collection of my mom. I thought of, I wanted more of this and decided to propagate it. So I broke the pot, I dug it up, divided the comps into different splits, and planted new little bamboos along the perimeter wall of our house in the community because I wanted to improve the aesthetic surrounding of the areas. And voila, they grew lush and tall. I was thrilled to see the greenery of the bamboo trees. That connection with nature has been with me ever since, and it's why I pursued my passion in nature, and thus I took up forestry in college, so I could continue planting trees and plants, protecting the environment. For me, do restoration activities. This is all the heart of sustainability. But sustainability is a broad and complex concept. This may mean a lot of things to many different people. What might be sustainable for us could be unsustainable to other people. For example, to our brothers and sisters, indigenous peoples and communities in the Alphans, this could mean different to them. It could also mean something different for an economist, for a policy maker, or even from the standpoint of a mining company. The diversity of views is really vast. Remember, during our intensive course, we explored the history of sustainability, tracing back to the UNSED definition in Stockholm. And now, we're tasked with, we're tasked with revisiting the UN Sustainable Development Goals is we really, really have achieved the 17 pillars of sustainable development by 2030. So I ask you now, what does sustainability mean to you? And more importantly, have you been doing your part in making it happen? Now, why am I here in our garden? Because sustainability starts at home, in our immediate surroundings. It's something we cultivate daily. For me, this garden you see, this mini forest of plants and trees, it is a personal practice of sustainability. Some of the trees here, like this bonsai forest, we have nurtured. The longest is we have plants here thriving for already 25 years. You see, you see this tree, this red baleta tree. And also, we have another tree here. This tamarind tree, it has is start to bear flowers which will soon turn into fruits and we also have some ornamental plants thriving, thriving happily under the canopy of the trees so it is a rich and diverse ecosystem where even the ornamental plants survive under the trees and we also have this guava tree over here where in the bats and the birds take fiesta on the fruits before you could even consume this. And this is one of the core principles of sustainability, allowing all forms of life to thrive in harmony. Apart from this, sustainability is also about nurturing. Just as we care for our children, our parents, we must also care for nature and the environment. This means 
tending to our natural resources, especially the renewable ones, the renewable ones in our garden, we take care of the plants and the bonsai trees during periods of drought and heavy rains. We protect them from flooding and in, and in turn, they grow and flourish and even bear flowers and fruits in time. So this is the entire cycle of sustainability. We must be able to nurture and protect this for the future generations. So in summary, to achieve sustainability in this ever dynamic world, I believe three things are key. First, we must start locally, begin at home in our communities. Second, sustainability thrives through diversity of plants, trees, wildlife, and insects, and most importantly, the people living in this world. And finally, it's about nurturing for ourselves today and for the next generation to come. So what does sustainability mean to you? As a DC student, I'm excited to dive deeper into these concepts with all of you. I'm eager to learn from our professors and explore how sustainability extends beyond nature, touching society, culture, and varying and even in even competing interests. There's so much to learn from the field, from various stakeholders, and from each other. Thus, I'm looking forward to this journey with all of you. Let's bring it on and good luck to us all. Thank you.